You've seen too much. Yeah, figured you'd try to kill us because we saw your fancy lab. See ya, losers. Wait, Grumpy Butt! Well, that was lucky. I hadn't gotten a chance to test the device, so there was a 30% chance we could have just disintegrated. <gasps> oh no, Grumpy Butt, what time is it? It's almost morning, Lexa. Lexa's going to be late for work! Ah, isn't this the life, Morty? Uh, not really, Grandpa Rick. I'm like a hammer person, and I'm in your pocket. Not really sure how that works, to be honest. It's my pocket dimension, Morty. Get it? Yeah, okay. I guess that's clever and all. But still, do we have a plan to fix the whole hammer situation yet? Quiet, Morty. I'm working on my tan. There he is. Dr. Sloan will be pleased. Let's move in. Up, up, up. That's close enough, amigos. Yeah, that's right. I'm not even gonna look at you while I talk. It's a total power move. Rick Sanchez, you will come with us immediately. Io needs you. Well, I owe you nothing. Are, are you really gonna interrupt an old man's beach day with his boy? A am I the boy? Shut up, Morty. We will not take no for an answer. This is a matter of life and death. Yeah, yours. I've taken entire civilizations. I think I can handle your little rinky-dink nerd crew. That's it. The boss wants him alive. Shoot him in the leg. Uh, I don't think they're fooling around, Rick. And neither am I. Rah! Surprise attack! Head cover! Power mode or whatever. Didn't expect that, did ya? You're going down, old man. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> Got him. Ah! Jeez, Rick, these guys may not be that friendly, but they are still people. Uh, I thought we went over this, Morty. They're bureaucrats. Lackeys of the man. The universe is better off without them. Please, Rick, no more killing. For me? Ugh. Fine. That's enough. Come out with your hands up, coward. Who are you calling chicken? Wait, did you say chicken or coward? Oh, whatever. There, are you happy now, Morty? I don't feel so. <laughs> oh, jeez, Rick! Did you really have to do her like that? Ugh, let me guess you liked her too. Can you control your teenage hormones for one second? She's a chicken now, deal with it. It's not that, Rick. You, you can't just go around turning people into this, that, a bunch of nonsense, whatever you feel like. Sure I can, but that's cause I'm the one with the chicken gun. Speaking of which, she looks pretty good. What do you say, Morty? In the mood for fried chicken? Rick! Ugh, fine, come on. B -b bye miss! <laughs> Sorry! Bubba lubba dub dub! Yeah, that's right, bringing it back for no reason, I don't care. Oh, I think I got whiplash, Rick. You don't have a neck, Morty. That'd be impossible. This place is kind of empty, Rick. Body actors aren't cheap, Morty. Hey, can I get some service around here? Oof! Hey! Oh, oh, oh. Welcome to Fishy Sticks! I thought I smelled weeb. Grumpy Pants and Hammer Boy! Lexa is happy to see you again! Uh, hey, Lexa! You work here too? Yes! Lexa is the working man! All day, all night! But that is why she is paid the big bucks! And what's that? Seven an hour? Plus tips! Yeah, that's not happening. Now, let's see. I'll take a number two and a number seven, and Morty will just have a kid's meal. Hey! Your stomach's as thin as a toothpick, Morty. Anything more than that could literally kill you. Okay! Beep, boop, beep! Lexa has done the math. You owe Lexa 1995. Man, that must sting. My sandwich is worth more than an entire hour of your life. Anyways, pay the robot, Morty. I can't even move my arms, Rick. Oh, that's just great, Morty. Well, time to bust out the chicken gun. Chicken gun? <laughs> ah, time for some grub. Ah, Get down! Hey, what's up with you? That is the sugar butt! He is like so sweet! So, why are you hiding from him? He has the big restraining order on Lexa because he is technically married to a she devil. Been there, done that. Aww, if only Lexa could hold 
sugar bot in her arms and squeeze him forever. That's true love right there. Hey, I just thought of a way we could pay you. Hey, buddy, say cheese. What the? Ah! Thank you. At least someone appreciates my work. I still think it's messed up. Relax, Morty. The effects of the marketable plushie affair are only temporary. They'll probably go back to normal in a few hours, or days, or years, or well, who cares? Point is, we ate, now I'm bored. Let's go watch some TV. Yo, robot chick, you wanna come with? After what you have done for her, how could Lexa refuse? Come along, sugar butt. Ah, home sweet home. Uh, Rick, this isn't our house. It is now. Hey, who are you? You can't just... <laughs> okay, make yourself at home while we do some science stuff to this TV. Time to take the load off. You're in for a real treat, Lexa. The first time you watch Interdimensional Cable, it'll blow your mind. <gasps> Lexa needs her mind. What? No, I... Got it. And away we go. I swear, I was just working late at the office, honey. Promise. Uh-huh. Then whose boda oil did I find this morning? Because it wasn't mine, mister. Uh, well... Ooh! The metal birds are talking. How is this possible? Science, that's how. I rigged the TV to access cable from other dimensions and realities. In this one, it looks like helicopters are sentient. He doesn't love you, Jessica! He loves me! Christine? Aha! The truth comes out! Take this, hussy! Next! Greetings, and welcome to Family Feud! Let's meet our first contestant, Oren! Uh, Oren? Boring. Take the magic box back right now! Jeez, okay. Don't go all HAL 9000 on me. Oh, looks like they switched the channel back. Ahem. <clears throat> you were introducing your family, Oren? Yeah, thanks, Apple. This is my twin sister, Lexa. Lexa is happy to be here, Steve. Hey, that's cool. I didn't know you had a brother, Lexa. Lexa? From what I understand, you had a real scare when you almost died from a psychotic ghost cowboy. Can you go into more detail on that? Yeah, funny story. I almost ran out of power, but... But Lexa saved him at the last minute! That's what big sisters are for! And now we have tighter bond than ever. Like a real family. Well, that's just great. I sure hope there's not an alternate reality version of Lexa whose brother actually did die, watching this right now, and wondering if she could have done things differently. Because that would just be a huge buzzkill. Youch. Lexa has to go. Oh, jeez, Rick. Should we do something? But Morty, Gazorpazorp Field is almost on. Rick. Oh, fine. Hey, kid. You all right? There was a way to save him. And Lexa couldn't find it. Don't pee yourself up. Like I said, there are infinite realities out there. And a handful of those, you got lucky and saved Orange somehow. Orin. Right. Morty and I have messed up big sometimes too. And you know how we come to terms with it? How? We didn't. We just hopped dimensions to one where we didn't mess up. Easy fix. You know, if I get a portal gun working, I could send you to a reality where your brother's still alive. Wouldn't even skip a beat. You could? But what about the people here? Who cares about them? You'd get what you want, and that's all that matters. Thank you for the offer. But what happened to Orin? Happened. Lexa has to live with that. But she will not let it happen again. Lexa's friends need her help here. In this reality. She will not abandon them. No matter how long it takes. <laughs> <laughs>